Hello everyone, my name is Omar Dukeri from Northumbria University, Newcastle, and today I will present you the Reno project that aims to transform deep renovation through an open renovation platform. A quick introduction about me. I'm a research fellow in construction informatics at Northumbria University, Department of Mechanical and Construction Engineering. I got a PhD and engineering degrees in computer science, artificial intelligence specialty, and I spent many years in France as associate professor in construction informatics before joining Northumbria University and worked there at different engineering schools like ESTP and TZ Ecole d'Ingénieur in Paris on several projects and subjects such as Acclimat, Geofuse, Acticity, Revages, Mind, and GPS projects on BIM, urban climate, smart cities, and smart building. Reno is a Horizon 2020 project to develop, validate, and demonstrate an operational interface with augmented intelligence and an occupant-centered approach that will streamline and facilitate the whole life cycle of building renovation, planning, design, retrofitting, monitoring, Basically, Reno aims to accelerate the rate of deep renovation in energy inefficient buildings around Europe, resulting in significant primary energy savings, decreased time and cost of deep renovation efforts, and reduced environment impact. Reno is 17 partners from across Europe, 10 different countries with 10 industrial partners, 6 academic and research lab and 4 end users. Energy decarbonization and sustainable development are key strategic priorities for nations worldwide as recognized in the UN Sustainable Development Goals and the Paris Climate Agreement. In response to calls for greater alignment with these initiatives, the EU 2030 Climate and Energy Framework sets out aggressive targets for cutting greenhouse gas emissions, increasing the share of renewable energy and improving energy efficiency. Its ambition is evidenced in its recent commitment to review the target to be reached by 2030 to a binding 32.5% at the EU level. The EU building stock accounts for 30% of the EU's energy consumption and 36% of its greenhouse gas emissions. Meeting the 2030 target requires reductions of up to 14% and 60% respectively. This challenge is not insignificant. The European Commission estimates that up to 75% of the EU's existing building stock has poor energy performance, 85 to 95% of which will be in use in 2050. The key action for energy efficiency in buildings is reducing the demand for heating and cooling via renovation of the building envelope. Using new low energy consuming equipment in general and specifically using more energy efficient heating equipment, increasing the uptake and the use of renewable solutions 
as well as the adoption of smart buildings. Recent research suggests that renovation efforts are adversely impacted across the value chain by a number of human, organizational, technological, and market factors. To address these issues, a combination of the greater use of ICTs, information communications technologies, in construction, renovation, and maintenance, and novel solutions for incentivizing and financing renovation, promoting and driving demand for innovation and transforming the construction sector is needed. While widely used in legislation, academic literature, and practice, there is significant variation in the definition and use of the term deep renovation, sometimes referred to as deep energy renovation. Forino improved energy performance must be in excess of 60% and energy savings must be greater than 30% compared to the statues of the existing buildings before the renovation. Such performance expectations are in line with current EU communications. Deep renovation assumes the use and combination of multiple simultaneous renovation measures. While specific measures may evolve with the state of the art, three categories of measures are common energy efficiency, renewable energy sources, res, and connecting to district heating systems and other more sustainable energy supply systems. For each of these measures, advances in the state of the art improve the overall energy performance as well as various aspects of the renovation process. For example, advances in additive manufacturing, including 3D printing, materials and integrated dress harvesting significantly reduce the time, effort and cost of deep renovation while increasing energy performance, in particular when using prefabricated off-site solutions. Deep renovation projects may be combined with more traditional technology solutions or include industrialized and prefabricated approaches. This notwithstanding what distinguishes deep renovations from other energy efficient retrofit is the integrated renovation approach. The literature suggests a variety of rationals and benefits associated with deep renovation. First, economic. Deep renovation may act as an economic stimulus across the deep renovation value chain, contributing to area revitalization, direct and indirect employment, the gross domestic product, property values, competitiveness, export growth and public finances while reducing energy costs, exposure to price fluctuations and import costs. Second, societal. Deep renovation may help citizens participate in a more resilient, greener and digitalized society and function more fully in society by reducing fuel poverty, improving health and contributing to a higher quality of life through increased personal well-being, comfort and productivity. Third, environmental sustainability. Deep renovation may contribute to mitigating 
adverse environmental impacts and building a resilient habitat for existing and future residents through higher energy performance, lower demolition and waste production, lower GHG emissions and lower air and noise pollution. Fourth, energy system. Deep renovation may contribute to greater energy security by reducing reliance on energy imports, avoiding investment in new energy generation capacity and reducing peak loads. Fifth, opportunistic. Deep renovation may differentiate a building and may make it a more attractive place to live, work or visit when compared to other buildings. Six, catalytic. Deep renovation may act as a catalyst for other innovations, substitute technologies or processes and improved control techniques in, in direct and indirect sectors, including policy and competition induced technical progress in conventional technologies and processes. Seventh, accessibility. Deep renovation may contribute to improved accessibility by accommodating the most vulnerable in society, including those with disabilities and elderly people, and improving social integration. Eighth, quality. Deep renovation may contribute to improved building quality through improvement to building physics, aesthetics and architectural integration, useful building areas, safety and ease of use and control by users. And second, increased range, quality and efficiency of service delivery, including public, community and commercial services through improved pre- and post-renovation human-centric smart home monitoring. An adoption of energy management best practices in general and specifically in relation to the specific climate in which a building is located can result in underperformance against expectations and unnecessarily high energy use levels and related emissions. While a wider discussion on deep renovation and adoption is beyond the scope here, it's important to note that the adoption of deep renovation technologies is impacted both by one, adopter-centered factors, second, technology-related factors, organizational factors, and external environmental factors. Basically, RENA will deliver a set of processes that, when working together, provide a system, repository, marketplace and enabling workflow process for managing deep renovation projects from inception to implementation. To do that, RENA will use first innovative technologies, including building envelope solutions, reusable energy sources, hybrid and storage solutions, then novel processes, including off and on-site industrialization and optimization, and collaborative financing business models based on crowd equity, crowd lending and energy performance contracting. Deep renovation is an increasingly complex feature space. It's complicated by the number and heterogeneity of regulations, designs, elements, materials, processes, tools and data and a dynamic operational environment. 
multiple stakeholders often with conflicting interests and motivations exacerbate complexity in the design of a full life cycle solution for deep renovation. As such, the needs of different stakeholders must be addressed in the design of Reno. Digital platforms are defined as software-based external platforms consisting of the extensible code base of a software-based system that provides core functionality shared by the modules that interoperate with it and the interfaces through which they interoperate. This implies that any such system is modular open and interoperable. Given the complexity, volumes, velocity and variety of the data generated and required to support next generation deep renovation project, algorithmic approaches to data analysis, security, actuation and scalability to meet the required quality of service and quality of experience are needed. Here is the Reno Open Renovation Platform. Firstly, Cloud Computing Infrastructure as a Service, IAAS, is included as a core component to enable scalability and support algorithmic approaches. The core Reno operational platform we see on this AI, IAAS layer the cloud configuration will adhere as much as possible to green cloud computing principles to support the underlying ethos of the Reno project. The core Reno operational platform provides the primary underlying platform architecture, middleware, orchestration and analytics systems upon which the platform operates. The middleware connects the underlying architecture, the various components, modules and endpoints collecting data with Reno and enables integrated data flows and exchanges. The orchestrator provides blueprint models and templates to support the design of business processes and functionality including mappings to integrated APIs and the abilities to add new APIs through the APIs management platform. The analytics component includes the processing and analytics engine to support the core enterprise renovation component. Data management includes the systems for storing and managing all the underlying system, customer building and transaction data. The API management platform supports designing, securing, publishing, monitoring, analyzing, consuming, and monetizing APIs. Again, this supports open collaboration. API Marketplace allows users to discover and connect to APIs, thereby supporting by both extensibility and open collaboration. On top of this infrastructure sits a number of renovation specific components that support the full life cycle of a renovation project. The renovation repository is an open standard based repository of building data including products, materials, services, processes, elements, discrete and combinatory renovation measures and other related data that can better inform full cycle renovation decision making. The planning and design assistant is a component that helps to make proper and justified decisions based on optimum renovation solutions and inform the planning and design of a given building's renovation. 
the retrofitting manager is a component that supports the execution, analysis, monitoring, and management of the renovation process. It will be based on and informed by best practice construction strategies, process industrialization and optimization techniques, including off-site construction and on-site automation. The building life cycle renovation manager extends beyond the initial renovation process through to the full life cycle by supporting users during the renovation process and beyond by monitoring various aspects of building operation and performance, including occupant comfort. The renovation workflow and transactions manager acts as an enabling workflow for the entire renovation value chain and organizes the data exchange among the various components. User administration and support are mechanisms to edit, manage, support and terminate subscriptions, accounts, users and roles as well as to perform service-specific maintenance and administration tasks. The social collaboration platform provides mechanisms and incentives to support information and knowledge exchange among stakeholders, including resorts, best practices, case studies, etc. The training manager provides electronic productivity support systems to facilitate asynchronous and synchronous learning, including on-the-job infield training using AR, VR, as well as conventional e-learning. The finance manager provides mechanisms for sourcing and managing funding for deep renovation projects, including support for crowdfunding and smart contract enabled contract execution. The Reno Marketplace will leverage the renovation repository to bring suppliers and customers of renovation related products and services together. Additional components can be integrated to deliver the business functionality required in deep renovation projects over time as well. Users interact with the various components and modules through responsive end-user interfaces. To take into account that many stakeholders may be working on site and accessing Reno through mobile devices. A critical component for the Reno platform is the interface between the Reno platform and the physical environment of the building. The platform will achieve this primarily through a multi-sensor network comprising heterogeneous devices, example energy smart meters, environmental sensors, etc., that interact with the physical world and provide building-related information to the Reno platform. Finally, it's critical to emphasize that machine learning and general algorithmic approaches will be implemented through the platform for both optimizing system performance and renovation process outcomes. To support a full life cycle approach, Reno can be used in a stepwise manner. In phase one, Stakeholders and their needs are defined and collated in the context of specific building renovation projects, including relevant environmental and architectural details. These data are input into the planning and design assistant 
to formulate their innovation and scope with due consideration of appropriately selected and quantified KPIs. With the help of the Renovation Repository, the system provides a set of renovation options that can meet the predefined requirements of the stakeholders and projects based on the selected criteria, including cost, time and performance. Next, the Planning and Design Assistant prepares a virtual digital presentation of the building, a digital twin, within which a range of applicable renovation scenarios based on options from the renovation repository are generated. Different renovation scenarios are subsequently simulated on the basis of the building and its systems digital twin to quantify the impact in terms of various KPIs to facilitate the selection of the optimum scenarios. In phase two, the Reno system offers a variety of tools and methods for reducing the implementation time and potential occupant disturbance, including on-site and off-site innovative construction methods and strategies. For instance, it includes a recommendation engine to select the most efficient combination of off-site and on-site fabrication and workflow and task sequencing. In phase three, the Reno platform is continuously monitoring and analyzing the building performance in real time. The system uses an extensible multi-sensor network installed at the building to gather data, including energy consumption indoor environmental conditions, quality and occupancy, amongst others. Finally, a key consideration is in deep renovation is the design for deconstruction, recovery and reuse before and during refurbishment across the operational phase and once the building are subsidiary elements come to the end of life. The primary use case of, of for the Reno project is deep renovation of residential buildings. To evaluate its stepwise framework, components and modules, the Reno platform will be used in the renovation of buildings at four pilot sites in Greece, Poland, France, and Denmark. These buildings are all multi-unit social housing buildings situated in different climatic regions and with diverse local building codes and regulations. Each building features different construction materials and elements and equip it with different HVAC systems and other related building systems and features. In total, Reno will evaluate 2,514 square meters of deep renovation floor area. What not prejudicing the output of the Reno framework, the technologies to be utilized in the different pilot sites are likely to be a diverse mix of prefabricated envelope components, insulation and harvesting and dress technologies coupled with novel software solutions. While improved energy efficiency at the same or better thermal comfort is a goal of each pilot site, the means and outcomes will vary depending on the specific renovation plan for each pilot site. For example, the Greek pilot sites will involve the renovation of a multifamily building to the passive house premium standards. 
In others, Reno will showcase best practice deep renovation for social housing. As such, Reno developed a comprehensive evaluation framework for the project as a whole and for each Reno component, including baseline and summative measurements. This include targets for reduced energy consumption, the adoption and use of RAS, thermal performance, renovation time and effort and comparative cost, as well as stakeholder satisfaction measures. And thank you.